Okay, hi everyone. My name is Aaron Rubin. I am automation engineer at Cisco. And today we're going to talk about QA automation in Python. So let's start. Here is my CV. Uh, my, I'm, I'm, uh, my education is uh, from Avrotech. Uh, I love Python, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm automation engineer. And uh, I work at uh, Ravtech and uh, let's instantiate a class and start a presentation. So I learned at Avrotech. What is Avrotech? Avrotech is a unique program to transfer and, uh, and to train and transfer high ultra orthodox like me, Haredim, to the high tech world. And I personally start for um, about four years ago. I did a period to Avrotech, I didn't have um, programming experience, neither basic skill, math, English, and uh, I, started, uh, I started from scratch. And uh, we have uh, ba ba basic skill at first, uh, one, one here, and we learn a, pr a programming course, like Python, Java, and uh, after uh, one year of uh, very intensive year of, uh, of learning, I started to, to work at uh, Travtech like uh, um, two, and f uh, two and a half years. So here is my timeline. Um, I started at Avrotech. Then I step up to Ravtech. At first, I'm Avrech and Tech. And second, I'm Rav and Tech, so I make a, st make a step. And um, at, uh, inside Ravtech, I, uh, I work on, uh, on uh, various uh, projects. Uh, between them, it's uh, for Screenaway company I, I will t that we explore later. And uh, currently, I work at, uh, at uh, Cisco as automation slash DevOps engineer. Yeah, DevOps, the word that every, uh, everybody explained different. Um, so here is the agenda. We're going to talk about um, a product overview. We, we gave a service of QA automation for a company called Screenovate. And uh, they have a really cool product that we need to uh, QA automation on it. And we have the we have to uh, when we understand first what the product is, and then we go to the challenges of uh, of uh, running automation lab for it, um, automation infrastructure design, some te some technology automation related to uh, to Python, and. Um, and all of that, it is see, and uh, we show a video demo of it. Okay, so the product, the product overview. Let's say you're sitting on your on your uh, on your de on uh, sitting on your, on, uh, on your laptop at your office, and you get a phone call. So you search on the desk uh, what uh, F where where is the phone, and it's 2018. Doesn't need to be weird stuff like uh, getting your phone from the packet. You just the, the smartphone, if it, if it is Android or iOS, it's fully integrated to the laptop. So you can receive, you can outgoing call, receive calls. You can uh, get, get, explore your, your contacts, um, receive an SMS, get a notification. If an Android, get, get a notification from it, and um, full, full mirroring of of, uh, of your phone. So you, you, you can uh, literally do, do whatever you do on the phone, from the laptop, and uh, keep being lazy. So th this is the product that we want to run, we wanted to run the, the QA automation on. So let's, let's, go, let's go and build infrastructure and QA in, the, in the context of QA automation for this project. We need to run, um, we need to run Multiple OS. We need to run native Windows application and native Android application because it's it's work on application on both sides. So we need to run and simulate click and UI on on native Windows, native iOS, and native Android. We need to uh, sanity test, threat test, KPI test. KPI is key performance indicator test. It basically means um, what your what, uh, the measurement of your product. Um, and performance, and uh, running synchronized multi-platform. We need to test, if, if you want to test an outgoing call, for example, we need to, um, to uh, make the call from the phone 
and 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 try on p and uh, and check and assert on PC that the phone is calling. So we need to synchronize it. And a uh, Windows user application controller that uh, block automation and uh, ident identify uh, phone numbers on real devices, image processing, and we get uh, all of that. Uh, get all of it. So let's build uh, an, an, an infrastructure for it. So it, there, is a co there is this thing called cloud testing, and I'm talking about Perfecto Mobile, Firebase Test App, Amazon Device Farm, all of this company hosting uh, real devices or emulators on, on the cloud and give you a fully featured platform to run, to run the test on it. But it was irrelevant for us because uh, first, I don't, from what I know, uh, there is no uh, service to run native Windows application, only a browser and, uh, and this stuff. And second, um, imagine a call between me and Amazon guy, can you send me a Windows, a Windows PC and next to him, can you send me an Android device and, can, and next to him, uh, please, please scale it up to, uh, to uh, four Windows and four uh, Android devices. Not seem so so relevant. So we, um, what we need to do is it's real devices and build our own lab for for running it. So next um, we have Windows automation and we have Android automation. So we can uh, basically run the script on the Windows and run the, the clicks and uh, automate the clicks and simulates and, and, and all of that and and connect the, the Android over ADB and run the automation on the Android native also. But it's it's good approach, but it's if you want to scale it, to scale it up to like something like a vari uh, variety of, 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 uh, of devices like Nexus, Pixel, uh, uh, Huawei, very, very different devices and very different brands of computers. So you need to, you need to hire an extra man that, uh, that will switch the switch the devices between the computers because you want to test any PC on any on any Android device, so it can it can be it. So uh, the the solution was um, a controller, and what what I mean a controller, it's one machine, one Linux machine. Let's go shopping, one Linux machine, uh, control on multiple uh, Windows devices. Over over network, RPC. We talk about that later, and uh, let's let's connect them to the same network, and let's um, and the, and the different Android devices like Galaxy, Pixel, Huawei, whatever, to uh, connect it to that Ubuntu machine, and uh, it's being an iOS, and Jenkins run the whole show from uh, from the top on every daily build. So, um, how, how do you connect and run Python call on Windows from a Linux machine? How you control it? So there is a, a Python package they call RPC. It's remote Python call. And you actually connect, um, in the first line we do, con we do connection over IP. And if we print, if we print the host machine, we, we will see the, the, the host machine platform, we will see the Linux. But then we initialize a connection modus platform. And if we print that, if we, we print that out, we see platform is Windows. It's, it, the, be, the best thing about, about this RPC, it's actually running the, the, the action on the remote, but you get the object uh, but you get the object on the on the host, so, so you can uh, remote controlling and um, do an a and Python calls on on uh, every and on every machine that that uh, run the, the the RPC server on the remote, so it uh, control it. So let's uh, let's talk about uh, Windows automation and Windows automation. It uh, was difficultly uh, diff it was very difficult. Uh, when we start, is it was a, a, a tiny, a, a tiny package in Python that we we 
just with just small function in it, and we extended it. But uh, six months ago, uh, Microsoft uh, announced on WinUp driver, and basically what it does, it 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 makes the the, the code to be like uh, like a sele like a Selenium, so you you can run Selenium code on on uh, on Windows machine. So you just can, so you just can can, can run, and if if you look at it, it 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 looks like Selenium code. It looks like it's running on a browser. You you uh, initialize remote and you do find elements by uh, by, by ID. Everything then uh, the, 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 that can be on browser can be on Windows native also thanks to WinUp driver. So th this, uh, th th this is about uh, Windows automation and about Android automation. There is a Python pa a really cool Python package and a really Pythonic that you can uh, initiate initiate a UI automator is is a basically a UI automator wrapper uh, for a UI automator that the, the, uh, the, uh, that Android and uh, and uh, you you can basically uh, dash an initial initial device and do a screen on and do clicks and every every action the user can yeah, you can in your automation also, and it's very Pythonic and very very easy, like you see. And uh, okay, so we have we have uh, you, you have we have technology to run your automation on Windows native, and we have technology to run uh, and uh, to run Android automation on uh, Android na on Android native in Python. And now we want to test. We have we have suppose we have. A lab, a Linux machine, that connects a uh, multiple uh, Windows machine with RPC and multiple Android uh, devices, and we we need to run each device on each on each PC. So uh, you have to you have to list. Let's call it A1, A2, etc. P1, P2, and Python has uh, has a very very uh, built-in function for making the whole combination from that list called product. And uh, taking an input as a two list and make the whole combination between it. Sounds good. But we have, we have a challenge. Because it's, pr it's print out P1A1 and P1A2. So if we run in parallel all these processes, you, you will get the same windows and the same device running twice. You will have an accident, the test will fail, and not because of bug, because you run it twice. You call it twice. So you call it uh, twice. So we need uh, a logic to run each device on each, on each phone, and as much as possible in each cycle, as much as possible parallelly in each cycle, without causing accident, without calling the same device twice. And we can figure this out. We have very, very cool, a very cool equation. And we have a constant list and a change list. And the constant list is always, um, is always the, the, lo the, the list with the lowest number. And we have change list that is uh, the other list. And um, we start, we start testing. I did a table of all the combination that, uh, that can be running. And then we, uh, when we start, we switch the change list. We switch the, uh, one of them. Uh, we, we take the, the first and grab them to the last. So, and then we pick, we pick, we pick the test, the, the first in the PC and the first in Android, and the second in the PC and the second in Android until the constant list is, uh, is out. So we have P1 and A2 and P2 and A3. No accident. So um, the, the, this, uh, this cycle one, we continue to do so in uh, three. And um, again, we reach, we're reformatting the list. We uh, removed A2 to the, to the, to the, to the end. And again, we took P1 and A2 and P2 and A1. So it's never going to the same device. It's never 
do uh, an accident between them, and we go with, uh, like the, the third time, and then uh, and then uh, and then you can run, run it all without without uh, referring the same uh, the same uh, the same device again. So I did a, a, a Python script. I, uh, I will show it. A Python script that uh, um, in a, is a Google uh, spreadsheet, like you see. It's, uh, it's a matrix of um, uh, three PC and uh, four and uh, four uh, four and Android devices. And I run this logic, and everyone uh, in parallel. So it's run in parallel on the lowest on the lowest. Uh, on the lowest, the list with the with the lowest length, so it's run on the on the on the PC and um, it's run on the, on the on the lowest PC and, and every and everyone the, the and everyone that's finished, it's uh, it's marking as done. So you see, it's it's never refer to to the same to the same device twice. So it's continued. It's continued to do so, and uh, that's lo that uh, that's logic. That equation could have worked with any number of devices, uh, nam any number of PC, and on any on every number of of Android devices. And we run uh, each one on each one, and uh, everyone work works great. Um, so, the, so uh, next, uh, the infrastructure. When you want to automate a uh, multi-platform, and and you want to to do uh, um, a, a lot of testing, so you need you need good infrastructure. So we came up with um, there is sanity there is sanity test suit, and then there is a, and then there is the test that run it. And then against the test, there is the platform object. So, so every every platform, because you want to run a multi-platform, every platform is is an object. And inside this object, can, can uh, this object can do an automation of uh, of uh, any clicks and find elements and what uh, what object what this platform related. So. Uh, above all, we control all of this show in a parallel testing. So we have the platform object and uh, two object, and we have the test, a different kind of test, and, um, the, and we have the controller, the parallel testing, the Linux machine that can run all of this show. So this infra can can uh, can work on uh, automated multi-platforms. So uh, next, uh, next, what we want to test, we want to test an uh, an uh, outgoing call and out and uh, receiving call and SMS and stuff like this. And we, when you want to uh, test it, and you, and like we said before, we do it in parallel on multiple devices, the multiple on multiple Android and multiple Windows devices. So we need um, to do multiple calls at once. So we have Twilio. Twilio is a very nice uh, communication cloud, cloud platform. It provides you, you um, an, an API. You, you get in, you buy an, a number from uh, Twilio, and you can call it in uh, in API. And then, um, and then we 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 had a challenge. Um, we have multiple multiple devices. They can switch with the manual QA. The manual QA always take our devices and replace them, and we need, and, uh, we needed to deal with that. And you and you need to find out on the run when you dynamically collecting the Android list and the Windows list. You need to find out what what the SIM card number of each phone. So you need uh, you have four four devices and you have you have Twilio. But you need to uh, to 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 find to find out what uh, what is the the, the 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 phone what is the the phone number of uh, of each devices. So um, and when you have when you have when I say Android devices, it can be Nexus, it can be Pixel, it can be Huawei. So he have he has a different UI. He has a different UI. Um, on each one of them. So if you 
uh, develop an algorithm that, that send an SMS to the UI of each Android devices will take a lot of time to, to, uh, to develop something like this. So we needed an abstraction that you can, in one command, to send, send an SMS or fire up a call or something like this. So we, we develop an uh, automation, an uh, Android automation uh, utils, utils application that you can uh, call it over ADB and it does some, uh, some actions that we need. So we, uh, we call it uh, over ADB, um, we tell it the same SMS and with random number. And then we do it in parallel for four devices and each device has a random number. And then we ask the API, who is the phone that send you this random number? In that way, we can achieve the phone number of many devices, of 10 devices, in something like two seconds. Uh, instead of uh, calling each one and, uh, and uh, different solutions. So we, we identify the, the, the phone number of, uh, of, of all of the devices. And we talked about uh, Twilio. Twilio um, has a very nice an API in Python for, um, for, um, for, me for um, sending messages, for receiving, uh, receiving messages, and, uh, and, and stuff like that. And uh, OK, so, 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 the, ne so the, ne the next challenge was the Android, uh, the Android uh, notification test. And we have, and we have uh, 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 different devices. So you need to create, you need to somehow create a notification on the device, and then check, and then check it on, on the device, and then, and then assert that it's show on, on the PC. So uh, also, uh, so uh, th that also we have different devices, different UI. So we need to make a notification. So if we send a, a, a Gmail uh, and we connect uh, all, all, all of them to the same to the same Gmail, you can't you can't do it in parallel because the same message will appear will appear in everyone that you test. So we need a, a way to randomize. Generate, noti generate notification in randomized message so we can um, test in parallel the all devices. So again, we insert to the, uh, the automation utils application and, uh, and uh, service the creator a, a notification. And then we call it by, uh, by ADB and, so, and it's, it's, re it's, re it's it's creating notification with the random in, in, with the random input that we gave it. Uh, we see it on, uh, on the on the Android, and then we assert that this special, this uh, exactly random uh, a random message is a show on a PC. So that way, we can uh, check the notification feature of a, of an uh, Android shows uh, works works uh, as as you expected. And um, next we have a mirroring test. And a mirroring test is basically a feature that you can uh, project your phone in, uh, on, on the laptop and you can even do an interaction with it. And, uh, and, and, and uh, so we need uh, a way, this is a, it's a follow the show on, on the desktop. You, um, you, you, can, you connect the, the Android devices. You uh, you open your screen and your screen shows mirroring on on the desktop, but we needed a way to to uh, to test that the screen that show on the Android devices show on Windows as well. So we use the image processing for that matter. OpenCV OpenCV is uh, for Python. It's uh, it's uh, very great, and we we. We first initialize mirroring and initialize mirroring by initialize mirroring by um, by, um, by by the automation app, and we open uh, uh, an, an activity that we uh, that we have an automation utils 
there is a checkerboard on it, and then we open and then we we and then we ask the the, the OpenCV. We we take a screenshot of it and then we ask the OpenCV if there is a checkerboard on the device. So if there is, we know that the mirroring works. If there isn't, we know it's fail and it's a bug and it's, it's need to be reported. And we, uh, of course, we wanted all of this uh, from CI. It's uh, it's running on every daily build. So the the developer do uh, do a commit message. It's compiling. It's, it's compiling the whole code, installing on a multiple uh, Windows and device and tested again each one against each one. And um, there is a video show the show it. So we have uh, the the main screen is uh, is Jenkins. So the main the, the main screen is uh, is a Jenkins server that run all the show, and you have uh, six laptops and uh, and uh, five five Android devices, and they install in in the setup. It's install on every device what you need. It's pair them, and there is no accident thanks to the equation. And uh, it, it's running all of this uh, in one, so we, we save time. And after that, uh, that's, uh, that's running, it's finished. And we have a matrix of each Windows on each Android. It's reported automatically to issue tracker. And uh, we even tested the, the KPI and uh, measurement it with the graph. And uh, we, we, uh, we do a KPI test that uh, for uh, for example, for uh, for notification test, we generate random notification and times and uh, and measurement the time from from uh, we generate and on the phone from the time it's uh, it's been on the Windows PC. So it's KPI of uh, of uh, window of uh, UI automation. And uh, eventually, uh, we came up we came up in, with an idea. The lab it works uh, great and uh, you have all its all its need. What we can give the QA manual a very simple tool that they can run from itself. So we 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 converted all the code and and try and uh, edit another layer. It's a um, it's a it's a Python GUI w, uh, WX Python and try and um, and add a, a, a GUI. A GUI layer on top of it, and just deliver it uh, to the QA manual and said, click um, which test type you want, click which attribute, which attribute any one, and it's run locally and uh, reported uh, the same uh, and reported uh, to the to the track and uh, the same uh, same as the lab. So uh, time for Q and A. Uh, I remember you used the, um, uh, C the CV library to check the checker box, right? Yeah, okay. so uh, do you have to retrain it so it kind of, you know, um, no. Like, uh, from my understanding, you need to train a model, right? So you didn't train it, so it can detect that. So, uh, you didn't understand, sorry? So, um, so you have a function to check. Is there, is there a checker box on screen, right? So do you yeah. have to retrain it so it understands what's the checker box? You mean you mean on, on the mirroring test, in the image processing? Uh, yeah, we we want to 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 check if the the the, the screen on the on the on the Android uh, um, in the screen on the off on the Android is show on the PC. So we we want a service that uh, that uh, fire up the the checkerboard and then uh, ask OpenC and then do a screenshot from the Windows and then. Ask OpenCV if there is a checkerboard on the screen. If there is, so it show the same one. So, it's, so you don't have to train it like to customize the checker right? So because it's already you know. no, no no image comparison. Um, um, later on, we we did also Im image comparison to to also check if it's in landscape or portrait. 
it was a uh, part. So we did image comparison, and we, uh, we checked if the if 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 you landscape the um, the, the device if it's landscape on the windows. So that we 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 use on the image processing and image comparison, and not checking uh, that's the checkerboard. Thank you very much.